And now let's tell you about Myanmar, where the military seems to be losing ground. The Myanmar junta captured power in a coup in the year 2021. They pledged to hold elections by this year. But it looks like that's not happening anytime soon. The junta has extended the state of emergency. They say violence makes it impossible to hold elections. A significant portion of Myanmar is not under their control. There is rampant fighting. And an election at a time like this could mean fresh tensions. That's what they say. Meanwhile, Aung San Suu Kyi has been pardoned. She will now be moved to house arrest. So is the junta using Suu Kyi's pardon to distract from its own troubles? Is Myanmar's military losing the plot? Our next report brings you the full story. And another piece of party from history is made with the signing of the... Myanmar gained independence in 1958. But its post-independence history has never really been stable. There was unrest, conflicts and an army that ruled for over five decades. The 2010s saw glimpses of democracy and peace. But then came the coup of 2021. Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy won the elections. They were about to take power. The NLD won nearly 80% of the seats, so a landslide victory for Suu Kyi. The army-backed proxy party won only 7% of the seats, so the military was alarmed. They feared that the party would change the constitution, basically weaken the military's political power and make it answerable to elected governments. So the junta intervened. The coup plunged the Southeast Asian nation into chaos. There was widespread violence, arrests, killings, as the junta launched a bloody crackdown on dissent. The coup was bloody, but the junta made one promise. They said they would hold elections by August 2023. Is that happening anytime soon? By the looks of it, no. The junta have extended Myanmar's state of emergency. They say it's because of the ongoing violence. On the other hand, they have issued a partial pardon for Aung San Suu Kyi. The 78-year-old faces 19 cases. Only five have been pardoned. So, a partial pardon. She's also being moved to house arrest. So basically, the junta has postponed elections, but they have also pardoned Aung San Suu Kyi. What explains this seemingly contradictory move? For many, it's just hogwash, a mere distraction from the junta's real troubles. The army may have captured power in 2021, but much of Myanmar is still out of their control. There is rising inflation, constant fighting, and in some areas, the resistance forces are reigning supreme. If an election happens anytime soon, the junta have no way to make sure it goes in their favor. So a delay is their only answer. Plus, there is the stumbling economy. Ever since the coup, it has been in a tailspin. That is hyperinflation and a lack of investments. As for the international community, many had pinned their hopes on the elections. That includes the ASEAN, which is a grouping of Southeast Asian nations. They looked at it as a pathway to peace. But with elections delayed, and with the junta doing just about anything to consolidate their power, it looks like the conflict will drag on. So stability remains a distant dream for Myanmar, at least for now.